Breasticles and testicles, welcome one and all to another Lord Nuxanor dissecting Mr. Beast videos to prove how it's all fake slash rigged slash cringe. Uh, that's what your boy is doing here today. Uh, no one actually has the, the balls to sit through it and do it. And your boy is here to do exactly that. Have balls. So, Mr. Breast just uploaded a video. Uh, 100 identical twins fight for $250,000. And, um, ironically, of course, the comment section is literally all stooges. It's it's fake people, uh, literally not important at all. Human people that are probably not even humans. Ninety percent bots. Uh, if you look at the like dislike ratio, it's it's healthy as always. Uh, <laughs> a healthy five hundred thousand dislikes. Bro is still pumping out content despite the allegations, and I don't know if I should be impressed or terrified that it's actually working. So. Because no one else is willing to do it, you got some people that are not willing to cover just the, the basic Mr. Breast videos. Someone has to! I'm, I'm the f cinema sins of Mr. Breast right now. So, I am on vacation. As you know, uh, I am literally hooked up to hotel Wi-Fi to, to f milk the breast. I'm a simple man. I like breasts. Behind me are a hundred sets of twins. And they're gonna compete for- Behind me are a oh. hundred sets of twins. That's crazy. And they're gonna compete for $250,000. A hundred sets of twins? So then it's 200 identical twins fight for $250,000. Listen, I am nothing but a stickler for accuracy, goddammit. Everyone! Did you hear that Lunchly is getting canceled for having mold in it? No way! Bro, listen, I'm on vacation, okay? I'm not fully up to date. I am here learning this the same time as you are, okay? I will give you the only proper coverage you need. Covering the situations whilst simultaneously putting my weenus into holes. Weenus holes. Go to your cube! Out of these 100 pairs of identical twins, only one is walking away with this quarter of a million dollars. And if either twin crosses the red line, they'll both be eliminated. This is such a random Mr. Beast video. It's kind of hilarious that uh, that he even made a video like this. A, a twin video. I, I swear, he's making his videos longer and longer so that the commentary type YouTubers can't actually have the patience to sit through it and review it. Let's find out which pair of you is the best set of twins and wins the 250 grand. I have never, never been, been around this many sets of twins before. Everyone yeah, that totally wasn't a, a very scripted line of both of them saying it at the same time. Because as you know, twins have psychic telepathic powers. Sure. It looks so similar. And, and let's, let's just pack them in little cubes. It's crazy. It's they don't look similar, you fuck. They're identical. <laughs> this is the most fucking brain rot commentary of all time. It's crazy. They're all so similar. Yeah, all right. That's what I thank you. School. Did you ever go to class for him? I took a test for him. <laughs> really? I'm putting that in. <laughs> right there, the pot of money. I could get used to that view. We got this. We got this. Well, little do they know, this video is going to put their bond as twins to the test. Shut oh. up. Oh I feel sick to my stomach. I'm so sorry. I'm not going to forgive you for that. I'm very excited this. You know, you know my favorite part of the of the Mr. Beast overanalysis dissection videos that I, that I tend to do. Subscribe for more overanalyzing and dissecting the breast. Um, guys. The coming up section is my favorite part of Mr. Breast videos because he puts stuff in the coming up section that doesn't actually happen in the video to hook people to watch them and none of it actually happens. So pay attention to the coming up section. If it actually does happen, it means he's listening to my criticism and he does watch my videos, okay? He, he has commented on my reactions to his videos in the past. He's, uh... So, I don't know. Maybe the coming up station is starting to happen. We got this. We got this. Well, little do they know, this video is going to put their bond as twins to the test. Shut up. Let's go. I feel sick to my stomach. I'm so sorry. I'm not going to forgive you for that. I don't... Let's go. It's literally a compilation of ruining the friendships of siblings for content. Let's fucking go. Trust you. Yeah, all right, let's see if they have the I don't trust you comments in the future. All right, if they don't have all the I don't trust you, all right, if, you, if they don't have any of that, it's a scam. Attention, everybody. Scam. Every challenge in this video is designed so that you and your twin must work together to pass. In the first challenge, this room oh, is going to flash a series of colors. You and your twin must work together to memorize the order of the colors and enter them on your tablet. If you enter them correctly, you stay in. If you enter the colors incorrectly, you're eliminated. Oh, gosh. I'm low-key scared. I'm going to start. Yeah, I'm sure you're low-key scared, bro. Start you off easy. For the first round, the pattern is six All right. Yellow. Green. Yellow. Enter the order you... Bro, there's no way he did that. Green. Yellow. 
He put little question marks over their heads? You are joking me. It's six colors, and they're going to make them look like complete morons? Dog, I bet you, when he actually filmed this shit, he took this frame from, like, a, a few uh, a later level where there was, let's say, 30 colors, okay? All right? Th that he has to. There's no way anyone would be completely dumbfounded and, and mind-fucked with six colors. Enter the order you saw them into your tablet. Blue, yellow, green, yellow, blue, blue. What's interesting is some cubes are actually sharing information with each other. I think we got it. Did you get it? Oh my god, it's inter that that's so fascinating. There's no way. That's crazy. Oh my god. People teaming up when there's a hundred pairs of twins? That's insane. That's never happened. Lock it in. If it's wrong, it's wrong, yeah. I love you. Love you too. Brother, it's six colors. <laughs> Why are they making this like it's the fucking end of the world? Dude, this is like giving NPC quests. What is this? Three. And you have that one colorblind twin that's just completely fucked. Pairs of twins entered the sequence incorrectly. Light their cubes red. Oh, no! And fun fact, the three. No! No, look at this man. No! What? No! The children. Oh! I love that expression. Three pairs that got eliminated were all right beside each other. Everyone cheer them on as they leave. Cheer them on as they leave. Yeah, sure. Yeah, th these are people that are not getting the $250,000. We salute you! This next sequence is 15 colors. And if you think this is hard, we're just getting started. This is getting to be too much. We kept adding more and more colors to the pattern every round. Let me see if I can remember. Forgot it. Oh, this is this is this is bad. Let's just see. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Totally, totally. Got eliminated. No! 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 You placed third in our ages one through hundred video, and then in this video you placed ninety third. Interesting. So he's reusing contestants. Totally not rigged. Probably not a family member. Totally not someone that was in the crowd before. Mm, interesting. Random competitors, eh? My heart is absolutely racing right now. And yeah, 15 colors might be pretty hard, but not even close. I love how Mr. Beast saw Coco Melon is using color theory to brainwash children. And he was like, holy shit, I could do that too. The 27 colors we got to later. Did it end on green? No, it ended on yellow. It ended on yellow. <laughs> how could you forget the last one? <laughs> That's the one burnt into your iris. Oh my god, like they are literally telling these people that they have to make it sound like it's harder. You're not listening. Why would I listen to you? Help, help me! You're not listening. Why would I listen to you? Sure, totally not scripted. Help me! Let's submit! Wait, it wasn't right! All right, everyone has voted. And in our final round, 12 pairs of twins were eliminated. Yeah, totally not asked to make that express. This is an expression that humans make. Look. Voted. And in our final round, 12 pairs of twins. Yes, yes. Average, average expression when uh, when you get the color wrong. Me, when the color is not green. We're eliminated. Me, when the color is not pink. <laughs> this is everyone that was eliminated. We gave each pair of twins $1,000. That's And right. that concludes challenge number one. 72 pairs of you now remain. Ah! Yeah! What what are, what are they even doing? What that's not okay. Mr. Beast. This is the Olympics and that's my gold medal. I need to pay off my student debt. Calling it. Dirty Dirty twins. Twins. Talk to him. Talk to him. And like always, we destroyed all of the eliminated players' cubes. Carl! That's how you do it right there. Are you all ready of for course. challenge two? Woo! The second challenge. Pay very close attention. This is where things get interesting. Dude, is he gonna actually do anything with the fact that they're twins? Or is the fact that they're twins just like a complete coincidence for the whole purpose of this video? It's like, do you imagine how much creativity could have gone into this video and he just made it slop game show with teams? Half of you are going to be eliminated in this challenge. All right. <gasps> yes, it's going to be cutthroat. No, Everyone wow, wow. Everyone pull the curtain. Off of the block. Oh my fucking god, it's an ad. Dude, I was on vacation, okay? I forgot how brain rot this stuff is, alright? 
listen, when you go outside and you see the real world, it's like you totally forget that these people are walking shills. Feastables. Feastables cubes. The Feastable, that's crazy. Mr. Beast promoting his chocolate in the video. Stacking something. One of you in your cube is going to put on a blindfold. The other is going to hold this tray. Oh, the twin shit. who's wearing the blindfold has to stack all 10 cubes on the tray. The twin holding the tray will then have to move the completed tower down on the podium. But if you drop even one of the cubes, I don't got it. You and your twin. Are oh my God. Is that the guy that was allegedly not part of the Mr. Beast crew until they exposed that he was actually an employee of Mr. Beast. And then he ended up appearing in all the videos. That's crazy. Are both eliminated. Do you want to hold it or stack? I'll hold it. I'll stack. Can you stack? Okay. Dude, dude, the way they said that. Is that, a, is that a way anyone? I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm doing this. I just, I love overanalyzing and dissecting the Mr. Beast stuff. Again. The reason why I am doing this is for two reasons. The first reason is because Mr. Beast claims nothing in the video is scripted or staged or fake. And it is. The second reason is I am incredibly petty. It's mostly the second thing. Eliminated. Do you hold it? Look up. Do you want to hold it or stack? Uh, I want to uh, go <laughs> hold it. Or stack. I'll hold it. No. I'll stack. You stack. You stack. I'm sorry. I don't want to make fun of these guys. It's obviously the. It's obviously whoever gave them the script to say that shit. It's not their fault. Let's go home. And last thing I need to mention, you'll be competing against your neighbor, and only one set of twins will be moving on. No. 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 Why would they say no like that? It's just a random competitor. Obviously, this is a conversation. Wait, it's either one of us. No. Yeah. That. That's. That's what it means. It'll be you against your neighbor. And bro's like, wait, so it'll be one of us? Goddamn commentary. Bruh. I'm sick. We'll start with this section of cubes. Three, Three, two, one, begin. Reach out, reach out, reach out. Go to the left, go to the left. Get to stacking. Down, there you go. Because the twin who's blindfolded will be doing all of the stacking, this game completely relies on your communication as twins. Your opponents already have Your four communication as twins. Yeah, sure. It's twin communication. Yes, it's the telepathy shit. That's how this is working. It's not, you know, the English language. It's not communication as teammates. No, no, no. It's because they're identical twins that they say a little to the left. Sacked. Oh, God. Gentle. Bring it down slowly. Perfect. For sure. It's perfect. Oh, no. You guys need to hurry. Bro, hey, your opponent's about to stack their final two cubes. Where? High, way high. Way high. No, no, no. <gasps> Luke, I need you to hold <laughs> Dude, I love this face. It's like, oh, they almost lost their chance at paying off their student debts. Oh, shit. Anyway, I'm going to go gamble. I can't really help, dude. But completing the tower of 10 cubes is only the beginning. The hardest part is moving the finished tower to the podium. They're, they're wobbling a lot. This is the most important moment of his life. Isn't that literally putting a little too much? Uh, isn't that narcissism incarnate? Imagine hosting a YouTuber game show, getting 200 people in this room in little boxes, and while one of them is doing one of your challenges, you say that this thing that he's doing to make you money for your YouTube video is the most important moment of that guy's life. Is that not the most, like, narcissistic thing you've ever heard in your, in your, in your life? Like, this dude's gonna get married okay he's gonna have children maybe uh but this is the most important moment of his life this stacking feastables boxes this advertising mr beast's trash chocolate that that's the most important moment of his life no. oh, oh they dropped it you guys won yeah. The tower I feel like the meta is just not stacking boxes and hope the other guys drop it. Somehow falls and touches the twin holding the cubes. That also counts as a fall, and both of you are eliminated. Let's go! Add rules! Admit yeah. Oh. But with some of the other oh. twins, we saw a different strategy. Some chose to not even touch their cubes or- That's the meta. Hope the other guys fumble it. Tempt their tower and bet it all on their opponent's tower falling. They're gonna they're very exciting because you know that they're just going to keep these people locked in these fucking cubes all night. And their only food is going to be this fucking Feastables trash. You, you know that's going to happen, right? You know that's going to happen. <laughs> They'll be like, and now you eat the chocolate. And they're like, oh, thank you, Mr. Brask. It's the most delicious chocolate I've ever eaten. Okay, I'm gonna drop it. How many blocks are they? Have they even got one? No. Are they just going to... How scripted is this? This guy's blindfolded. He is literally putting on the blocks. 
okay? He's holding the fourth block right here. He is the one stacking them. And he's like, oh, how many blocks are we at? One? Yeah, that's not scripted. Fall it. They're gonna drop it. They're gonna drop it. How many blocks are they? Have they even got one? Oh, he's asking about the other people. Okay, never mind. <laughs> No. Are they just gonna sit there? Yeah, they're gonna sit there. They're corner camping. But just waiting for their opponent to fail wasn't the only tactic we saw. <laughs> this is an interesting strategy. Yeah. This is insane. This is like literally the Karen strat. That's awesome. Girl, go! <laughs> Dude, where did he find these people? These are Mr. Beast subscribers? Where on earth did he- This is like the, the fucking- Oh god, what's it called? This is like the Craigslist of identical twins. They're trying to distract their opponents and make their tower fall over. You're going down! Oh, you're gonna lose your voice. Your voice is going down. But they're being so loud that the twins all the way across the room can even hear them. What's their strategy? I don't even know. Is yelling a strategy? I don't know what you have to do to stay in, but do not lose to them. What is happening? All right. This round. Whichever right. team has the most blocks when it hits zero. Whoever gets the most blocks, come on. Okay. When the Collins twins realized they were running out of time, they quickly began stacking, and they were able to tie it up at five cubes in each tower. No! Come there. on, get rid of the Karens! No! Be at five. Jake, it's shaking a lot. I think we buzzer beat this thing. Less than 20 seconds left for this round. Wait, I can grab another block. Do we need another block? Just straight. Are you gonna go for the win? Yeah, we are. Hurry, hurry. Straight. Some two left. All right, come, come in. They're uh, using their twin power to do this. Drop it six inches. Here, oh, stop. What the f- Did you see that? Hold on. What was that? Uh, right? She grabs the glowing uh, holy festivals. And look, look how fast she is. It's like she knows exactly where it is. Here, Either she- and she touches it. This is either the craziest spatial awareness of all time, or, uh, it's rigged? Drop. No. Bro, it literally hit him after the timer. It touched his nose. Yeah. It touched his nose after the timer. Mr. Beast keeps rigging things for women. I feel like every single... It, it, it could be a coincidence. Maybe he wants the annoying Karens to stay in. Either she could see through her mask with the way she quickly jumped up exactly to, to the right spot. Right? Look, look at this. Okay. Look how she grabs it. And immediately... Okay, that... It, to exactly the right height? Brother. There's no way she can't see. Also, this timer is definitely fake, right? Because you see, it hits zero, and they're cheering. But here, there's no cheering. Even though it's technically happening at the same time, there's no cheering, right? How, how is it that here there's cheering, but here there's no cheering, even though they're taking place at the same exact time? You want to know? Because the timer wasn't at one second. It's literally rigged. It's literally freaking rigged. It touched his nose. He actually touched it. Oh my god, you guys won! Yes! Yes! No! No, no way! You have to drag us down by our hair! Okay. But these games were only getting more intense as the challenge went on. Oh no! Just Oh, oh it fell. Oh. Oh. No! no! During this challenge, we got to see which team had the strongest twin telepathy. Right, come that. Twin telepathy, guys. That's what's being tested here. Yeah, right here. Bro just <laughs> directed him with his head as if he could see him. <laughs> it's a twin thing. It's a twin thing. But the way some of these other pairs were communicating, you would hardly believe that they're twins. What the fuck does that even mean? This this is the worst. Th this is literally the worst uh, Mr. Beast thesis of all time. 100 identical twins fight. The way they communicate, you wouldn't even believe they're twins, brother. Keep it still, keep it still. Lift it up. You're, oh, he almost hit your head. Bro, for twins, we are not coordinated, bro. And in our final round, we had two games that went down to the very last second. Two. Yeah, I'm sure they went exactly to the last second and it wasn't edited. One, hands off. It was after the timer! Th this makes no sense. This literally makes so little sense. How could you kick someone out if it's literally... <laughs> Sorry, that's so frustrating. Dog. 
the way they would kiss, you wouldn't even believe they're step siblings right now. Like, <laughs> at that point, anytime you ever put the tower down, if it ever falls, you lose. The, the, what's the point of the timer? Uh, their stack fell over. You guys won. Yeah. That was for sure added in post. Their stack fell over. You guys won. Yeah, right? Won. Uh, their stack fell over. You guys won. Yeah. They are now one step closer to a quarter of a million dollars. And as promised, half of you were eliminated in that challenge. We're willing some yeah. bunk beds. Get yeah. some sleep, because the challenges tomorrow will be way harder. But don't worry, guys, because while you sleep, you will have feastables. That last challenge was like so difficult. The Morris is we've kind of worked together, we've got a really strong alliance. So right now it's the two of us left and we're all in it together. What do you think? How's it feel? <laughs> it feels like heaven. Alright. Good night. Kind of feels like heaven that you're competing with 36 pairs for two hundred fifty thousand dollars sleeping overnight in, in this massive, probably lights on facility of fucking cubicles covered in strangers. Are you joking me? Kind of feels like heaven. This is like classic Mr. Beast prompting to make it look like he's a hero. After all, dude, I love that this man, his name is Hershey, literally the competitor to the fucking Feastables. And this is the only time that the, his name is cut off, right? Everyone else's name, Morris. All right, Morris, you could see, all right? Hershey over here. <laughs> Kind of works. Okay, no, yeah, no they've got a really strong alliance. So right now it's the two of us left, and we're all in yeah, it together. What do you think? How does it feel? <laughs> it feels like heaven. Yeah, it feels all like right. heaven. Good night. Final six, baby. Good night. I love how they turn the lights off. <laughs> they make it a point to show you the lights are off. Guys, we're not violating the Geneva Convention anymore. Sleep well. And after the bloodbath of the first day, the twins were a lot more optimistic than I thought they'd be. We're gonna win this challenge 100,000%. Yeah. We're locked in. Right, these are the guys, right? Mystic than That's, I thought again, they'd be. We're gonna win this. Yeah, these are the guys that uh, had question marks over their head for the six colors. All right? Six colors, and they had question marks over their head? Yeah, all right. This challenge 100,000%. We're ready. We're locked in. Good morning, everybody! Guards! Bring out the next challenge! Did he call them guards? Why the fuck would he call them guards? He just calls his employees guards because this is Squid Games? It's like he knows this is torture. I want you to remove the black- You know, I, I was in Vegas, alright? Every time there's a show, uh, I went to the Maroon 5 concert, okay? So Maroon 5 plays in their concert, and they make so much effort to give thanks to every single person of the staff. He's like, it's not just me. It's not just the people playing in this band. It's the security guard outside. It's the the freaking people that are build the staging. You know, and he's thanking them by name and, and all that. And here, he wants them to have as little recognizability as possible. No free clout. They wear the freaking hoods so that there's no possible way to recognize this. Break the guard. Look at this. Look how he's carrying it, so there is no possible way to see this guy. It's generic white man. And another generic white man. And another two generic white men with hoods over their heads. And you have no idea who they are. Like, they are literally, this is like, what is this, covering up your your pedophiles? It's like, bro, bro, is this like some safe haven for, for pedophiles? You can get hired here and no one will know? Like, what is even going on? To remove the black cloth on the podium we put outside your queue. <gasps> this <gasps> Money! <gasps> Glorious Jimothy! This game is going to test your greed. As you can see, each of you- test your greed. Bro, you're in a Mr. Beast video. You have already failed this test. Mr. Beast failed this test gonna test your greed the irony of this fucking guy has five thousand dollars in front of you it's completely up to you whether or not you take the money and if yeah, you I, I think you should uh start peddling more uh can't you sell more diabetes to children test your greed if you do take it there is a 50 50 chance you'll be randomly selected to be eliminated but if you don't take it you are guaranteed to move on or take the fucking money Bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Take the fucking money, get out of here, ain't winning anyway. We're gonna throw up a 10 minute timer, play it safe and move on, or gamble 250 I, I love how it's like, test your greed. Gamble 250 grand, test your greed. Staying in is greedy. Only Mr. Beast, a guy who doesn't calculate in thousands, he calculates in millions. Only someone like him would think that this is test your greed. Taking the money is literally the safe bet and not testing your greed. 
It's like, what would you rather? Would you rather be employed and have a steady salary where you make $60,000 a year or have a chance, a 1 in 36 chance of making a million dollars this year? Like, the safe option is definitely to take the money. That's the not greedy option. Grand for five. The choice is completely yours. Why don't we just take the money? Five grand isn't enough for us to trust our chances. What should do? What? Well, this is guaranteed. This is guaranteed, but you might get eliminated. It's not much. It's a free five grand. I know, but we decided we want to trust the twin tuition. We came here to win big bucks. The stress from this decision was creating tension between some of the twins. I said we leave the money. You get too much. No, 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 don't. I'm trying to talk to you. I want to walk away with something. Like, I need the money. Bro, these are fucking twins. If someone, if, if you had a twin, okay? Forget twins, okay? Forget twins, okay? You have a sibling? I know that if my brother said to me, saw $5,000 sitting there, and he said, listen, I need the money, and he sits down all sad, what kind of fucking psycho would you be to say, no, let's risk it all? No, that is what our eyes are on, not that. You guys officially that pathetic sum of only $5,000. That, ugh, Despicable. I have five thousand dollars. Congrats. You don't care about this five grand. Yeah, no. we just want to win the Mr. Beast challenge yeah. because we want bragging rights. Remember this, face, bay, bay. Oh my fucking god! If they win. Bad beast, bourbon. And in the fight, if Mr. Beast somehow makes them win. That would be the most insane upset of all time. No moments. The last few twins scrambled to make their decision. Take the money, bro. All right. Put that on my shoulder, boy. I always like to ask myself, what would Jimmy do? And I think that Jimmy would. What kind of despicable writing goes into these videos? This is the mindset they're peddling to the children watching. These are grown ass men. These are 40 year old men. And they're really sitting there thinking every time I have a question, I ask myself, what would Jimmy do? Holy shit. This is some antichrist shit, honestly. What? Oh my god, and this is for sure scripted too, because that's not something any normal human being would say, let alone someone that's in their 30s. What would Jimmy do? Proceeds to hire a pedophile. What the fuck? Take the money and say, nah! Because eight contestants have taken the money, that means we will be randomly eliminating four of them right that's now awful. to ensure it's random. And, and you know that's just kids being like, yeah. I also ask myself in difficult conversations and situations, what would Jimmy do? Should I buy this Feastables? What would Jimmy do? Well, we're picking their names out of this machine. Grab a random name. And the first elimination is Alan. We got bread, though. Can you hear me out? Sure. Alan Twins, come up to the stage. You can pull the next name. The next elimination is Moore. No! I agree, guys. What was that added in post? No. Are you kidding me? You think one random group of twins gets kicked out and a different gr group of twins are going to scream no like Luke Skywalker? What was that no added in post? Next elimination Here, is more. No! Yeah! Literal. What the frick, man? <laughs> this is some bullshit. Why would they add that in post? I agree. Got the best of it. And once again, the eliminated twins will be pulling the next name. And the next set of twins to go are the Miller twins. If we didn't take it, we'd still be in the queue for 250. That's life-changing money for us. So I 100% regret it. And the yeah, now that you lost the 50-50, you regret it. But if you would have lost the 250, you wouldn't regret it. So this is obviously dumb-ass logic put in here by Mr. Beast in post. A final set of twins eliminated. The D'Angelo twins are our final elimination. You got a guaranteed 5K. I felt like it was the best choice to make. Just gotta take what you can get. <laughs> Bye guys, good luck. And with that, challenge four is over. <laughs> I'm glad I did take it. So far in this video, it's been you and your twins deciding your fate. But for this next challenge, you all, right. all as a group will decide if people go or people stay. Two buttons are gonna pop up on your tablet. If you press the green button, you're voting to end the challenge. And if all of you press green, this challenge is over. If you press the red button, you can vote someone out. Whoever gets the most votes will be eliminated. Or what? <laughs> this is the stupidest puppet 
competition I've ever seen in my life. What? Nobody has to go home. If you Everyone just vote out the Karens. Literally, they are unlikable as shit. Just vote out Team Karen. All work together and vote green. You have five minutes to make a decision. Personally, I find it very rude to vote people out. Being a twin is all a What? What the fuck are you talking about? What kind of in-post writing are you doing? You are literally competing against people. Beachy, me, me, me. About teamwork. Green! Vote green! Because I'm a twin, I believe in teamwork. They're all gonna vote green, except the Karens are gonna vote red and get someone out. I can already see it happening. But like I said, if they all voted green, they would all move on. But since the Collins twins had made such a name for themselves, you're going to it didn't seem like that was going to happen. Hey boys, I think we know what to do. Stacy and Tracy. Taking justice. In yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Kick their ass. Get rid of them. It spread quickly. And this is honestly Batman villain shit. It's insane. After just a few twins voted red, it started a chain reaction, which made it clear that someone was going home. Stacy and Tracy. Stacy and Tracy. Tracy, Stacy. Here's the biggest right here. Who has personality? Who works hard? Who's won every challenge? Time is up. What the fuck are they talking about? But they're insufferably annoying. Oh, you guys think everyone hit green? No. Oh, wow. Literally, no one thinks that. Okay. They see what. They you're sitting next to people. I'm, okay. Only two pairs of twins received votes, and the Haley twins received one vote. Yeah, from Stacy and Tracy. Bye, and the Collins twins received 26 votes. Yeah, Justice! Oh, oh my God! God. Yeah. That's a lot of <laughs> votes for Collins. We are scared. Wait, we can't. We are scared. Dude, the irony, the irony of Mr. Beast doing this. So Mr. Beast just released a product called Lunchly with KSI and Logan Paul. They got a hell of a lot of criticism for it because they claimed it's a healthy alternative to Lunchables, when in actuality, it is still unhealthy slop. They got insane criticisms, and all of their responses were, they just hate us because they ain't us. They jealous. Mr. Beast, know that your response sounds exactly like her yelling they're scared. Is dead. Oh, I did. Thank y'all. We had a good time. I've never seen this many people work together on anything. It's a lot quieter without them now. And now that right. the common enemy had been obliterated, one and done. One and done. Everyone decided to vote green. Timer has hit zero. Everybody hit the green button. Yeah! Yeah! Now, if I would have been there, I would have definitely voted red. You just get one person out for free. Definitely. Go set up the next challenge. That was wild. We all could have turned on each other. I'd rather people go out on their own terms. Yeah, instead of people just choosing who goes out. Turn this is literally a competition where you're going against each other, you fucking idiot. One sets of twins remain. But we're By the way, I want you to know, if I ever call contestants in these videos idiots, I am not doing that. I am calling Mr. Beast an idiot for putting that in his script, because this shit is all scripted, okay? To give you your hardest challenge yet, and by the end of it, we will be in the top 10 sets of twins. They're like, what? That's good. Oh my god, he counted us? Oh god. Oh Ram god, numbers? <gasps> Randomly, over the next few hours, the lights in this room will turn red like this. And when that happens, the first pair of twins to tap the button on their tablet is safe and moves on. But anyone else who attempted to press the button and wasn't first will be eliminated. We're doing oh, this shit. 10 times, and it's up to you to decide which round you press the button. Ideally, all 30 of you don't try to press the button the first time. Because the more people who attempt each round, the worse your chances are. You're gonna go second, and we're gonna make that point clear to everyone in here. What are you guys doing? First? I'm going on one, baby. I think most people are gonna go off the bat. I have a pretty good reaction time. What's the strategy here? We're going for alarm number two. We're gonna like announce it to everyone. If you don't want to get eliminated, don't go too! But not everyone was confident with going early. I will say you're very far away from pressing a button. Going first is never the answer. <sighs> I love I love how they're asking these people questions like interviews like they're on fucking Survivor when this is just Mr. Beast rigged uh, haven of pedophiles and fucking idiots like th this is actually insane. Okay. All right. So yes, they're sitting as far like like as an example, they're sitting as far away from the button as possible. They they are asked why are you sitting far from the button? Their answer is because the people that go first always lose. Like, what the, this is fucking brain rot. Like, what the shit? There's zero logic in any of these videos. Very far away from pressing a button. Going first is never the answer. Okay. Did right. you see that? It was added in post too. I didn't even notice that the first time around. I, I can't even fucking, I can't even fucking do this. I can't do this shit. 
Mr. Beast doesn't fake videos. Yeah, all right. Well, watch her talk. Very far away from pressing right? a button. Going for right. So she's talking. Then watch her speak. First is never the answer. And now she talks. Third. What? What did she just say? I have no idea because it was added in post. Okay. Okay, he says to whatever was said that was cut out. C classic breast. All right, everybody. The challenge has officially started. Good luck. The moment it turns red, just. Dude, I'm telling you right now, I got this in the bag. As soon as that light dims, boom. Should I yell red? Could you literally happen? Why the fuck are they all doing this on the first? Are they idiots? The answer is yes, I guess. Any second. Oh, God, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Oh my gosh. And that was the first one. Yeah, baby! Oh my god. It looks like four pairs of you attempted round one. Let's see who tapped the button first. Oh my and god. Three pairs of you are going home. We don't usually hold hands like that. I know, we don't usually hold hands. So you guys either just got eliminated yeah. or we won. Or moving on to the top <laughs> so ten. we are going to tease you on uh, $250,000 that hang in the balance. How does this make you feel? Yes. You pressed it? Yeah, man. A bunch of other people pressed it. We got to see who actually pressed it first. We made it through four. That was also added. You pressed it? Yeah, man. A bunch of other right. people pressed it. Look, he's saying totally other words. Gotta see who actually pressed he, it. He's saying whole other fucking words. These, these are not the same words that are leaving his mouth. It's like, he put subtitles on the screen so you could look at the subtitles so you don't look at his lips saying a whole ass other sentence. Did, did you see that? Ten. Yes. You pressed it? Yeah, man. A bunch of other people pressed it. We gotta see who actually pressed it first. Sure. A minute through four challenges. Whatever happens, we should be proud of ourselves. Reveal the results. Every single time there is a competition between men and women, the women win. I'm not saying this out of salt. I'm saying this out of Mr. Beast. It's a statistical anomaly, okay? <laughs> it's like it's insane. You can't make this shit up. I feel bad to predict that the women are going to win the rounds because when I'm, I'm eventually going to be wrong. But it's every time. It's every single time. I've never seen one where the women lose. Like you could say it's scripted. Or women are just superior. May who knows? Maybe. <laughs> but before the twins had even a minute to relax, oh, we got God. this in the bag. We decided to surprise them with another round. The alarm went off. Did it? Yes, it's red. And once again, only four pairs of you attempted round two. You did it? Yeah, I did it so fast. Reveal the results. And by less than a tenth of a second, hey. the Cliffords won round two. Let's go. No. Watching y'all, y'all gotta make it too. Okay, wish us luck. You did not win. You can step out. Bye. See you guys. Two sets of twins. Wait, so are they literally? Were they? Hold on, hold on. Were they trapped in this little fucking cube for like the entire day and a half? I'm only realizing this right now, but. Win. You can step out. Like they were, they were actually stuck in this cube for 48 hours. Holy shit. Bye. See you guys. Two sets of twins have secured their spots in the top ten. How many of you are gonna go for the next one? Do you think we go here? Yeah. Maybe you just wait? Stop looking away. Maybe on the 10th press, there's only one of you. Focus. Focus. His fingers so far from the screen. You keep looking away, you, I can tell you're daydreaming. All right. I don't know if I got that. they quick, but I don't know if it's fast enough. For round three, three pairs of you press the button. Oh my Before God. we reveal the results, we're bringing all of you the world's best shock. Oh my fucking God, you've gotta be fucking kidding me. These people, they have $250,000 hanging in the mail. You're gonna give fucking feastables and they're gonna make believe that they're happy about this? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm so excited. My fate is literally in the hands of this fucking antichrist and they're giving me chocolate. <laughs> We need to cheer you guys up. You see, look, look at them. None of them are happy. Like, they are told that they have to clap. Bringing they all tell these people, clap and smile. Give you the world's best chocolate. Uh, look at this. This is the, this is the face of a happy man, all right? Look at this. Look at this. Look, this is someone super happy that they're bringing Feastables in right now. Bro. We need to cheer you guys Oh, this guy, he thrilled. He's just, oh, yeah. We're just waiting for, oh, yeah. Way too nervous. I love some chocolate. We that was for sure added in post. We need to cheer you guys up. You seem way too nervous. Yeah, we need to cheer you up. Yeah, sure. Taking a break right now to give people fucking chocolate. Yeah, that's definitely gonna cheer them up. I love some chocolate. We love Feastable. You want some chocolate? Uh, yeah. The boys are currently handing everyone Feastable chocolate bars, aka the best chocolate on the planet. Feast 
It's crazy that that's legal advertising. The Bulls, baby! This man has no soul when he said that. He's holding all the separate flavors. It's literally advertising. He's not those, baby. He's he is using these people as puppets. Puppets. I'm excited to announce we just launched our brand new cookies and cream feastables bar. He's so excited to announce, guys. Cookies and cream. It's my favorite. Cookies and cream. Cookies and cream. And to celebrate Halloween this year, Feastables is giving away ten thousand dollars every single day for the next thirty days. Look at the fucking ad progress bar, okay? Pay attention to this bullshit right now, okay? You see this ad progress bar, all right? You see, it literally started less than five seconds ago because when I do the five seconds uh, rewind, all right, it gets this far in five seconds. Just buy Feastables at one of these retailers and watch, or others. Watch, it's halfway across the screen already and now it slows down so that it'll take another full freaking minute. Scan the QR code on the back of the bar and submit your receipt to enter. And on Halloween, Feastables is also gonna give one person a- Oh, is that a lottery? Wait, hold on. Single day for the next 30 days. Just buy Feastables at one of these retailers or others. Scan the QR code on the back of the bar and submit your receipt to enter. And on Halloween, Feastables is also gonna give one person a million dollars. Just- It's- Wait. <laughs> he adds in the little text, no purchase necessary to win. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, sure, because all the kids are gonna look at this. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's go. Scan the QR code on the back of a bar on Halloween to find out how to enter. If you don't hand out Feastables at Halloween this year, clearly you hate your neighborhood. Bro, no purchase necessary to win. $10,000 sweepstakes takes place over here, over there. So what is the no purchase necessary? It doesn't even say. Skill testing required, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, this is, um, I don't know how you can actually get in legally, but, uh, this is crazy. How do you enter without a purchase? Just scanning a Feastables at the back of a Walmart without buying it? I'm sure that's not legal. Like, uh, you probably have to write out a whole fucking form and mail it in and hope that you're the, gonna win, even though in reality, obviously, they're not gonna give it to you. They're gonna give it to someone that actually bought the bar. Like, the whole peddling lotteries to children thing is so gross. It's so yucky. Obviously, uh, it's not the worst thing Mr. Beast has done, but it's so disgusting that he keeps doing the, the, um, the money cash prize as an excuse to sell his chocolate. I feel like that's the only way, I feel like that is literally the only way Feastables sells. Because, again, everywhere I go, Feastables is on sale. So, I think that the only reason why it actually sells is the kids that are hoping that they're gonna win 10k. Like, it's, it's disgusting, the peddling lotteries to children thing. Yeah. No purchase necessary, just buy a bar! Now for the results of round three, which to be honest is pretty ironic, the Hershey twins are the winner! No way, the Hershey's! Oh my god. I'm not gonna forgive you for that. <laughs> I'm not gonna forgive you for that. Who the fuck says that to their twin? I'm not gonna forgive you for that. I bet you again that was added in, maybe not added in, po wait, was it added in post? Hold on. Hershey twins are the winner! Oh my god. I'm not gonna forgive <laughs> Alright, so that wasn't added in post. I wonder if she was told to say that, but... Yep. <laughs> it seems like the stuff in the coming up section actually does come up over the course of this video. 16 more of you to go, and there's only 7 slots. Technically, your odds have improved by waiting, but there's still a lot of you left. Can you tell people we're going for 4? I got this. I'm just doing it. So scared, bro. I don't want to know if it turns red. <laughs> Scared, Is she lying on the floor with a pillow over her head? I don't want to know when it turns red. I want to know if it turns red. <laughs> I felt really good about that. Round four's winner is the BD Twins. <laughs> Mr. Beast, if you are actually watching my videos and changing these things, like the coming up section, because you watch my reactions, again, I know he watched some of my reactions because he's commented on the videos in the past. Um, but if so, hell yeah. <laughs> Oh god. Don't forget to subscribe, Mr. Beast. Um, Mr. Beast, if you are watching this right now, I highly suggest subscribing for premium content where I continue to milk breast content. That is true. Round five is late. You guys want to step out together? No, the mustache guy! The Narvis twins! The Morris twins! Seven sets of twins. I love how this has absolutely nothing to do with being twins. That's like such a random gimmick for the thumbnail. Remain, but only three spots are left. I'm getting down right now, okay? Lock in 1800 in a second. Is Fisher doing it? Don't, don't. Yes. It's just us and Fisher. 
Just breathe. Oh. Another team's doing it. Who? It's the ones up there. Get off, get off. Bad just up your hands. Are you joking? What what kind of a coward move is that? There are only three rounds left. Good boy. Yeah. We have two other competitors. Should I go ahead, Brent? Yeah, get ready. All right, they're back to lock in. Are the ones up top locked in? Let's go. No way all these people use terms like lock in this many times over the course of a video. They said lock in 40 times. I did, I did it right. I was quick. You did it fast. And the winner of round eight is the Badget Twins. Let's go. Round nine's winner was the Dirting Twins. And round 10 was the Rosenbergs. Hold on. Just a second. They made such a big deal out of the first people winning. The Hershey's, right? They made a big deal out of it. The Badgets. And that concludes this show. I'm just saying, listen, you, 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 you do your own commentary. Congratulations to making it to the top 10. Hey! So top 10, baby. Top 10, baby. Let's go. Make sure you sleep well tonight because tomorrow, one pair of you is winning that. You have to sleep another night in these cubicles. <laughs> Quarter of a million dollars. Yeah, drum your finger till it's red. Honestly, just, just fucking tap that shit. A hundred percent. I don't know why no one did that. There's no way you could possibly lose if you do that strat. <laughs> I'll see you then. We did it together. So we're taking out. We did it together. One of you pushed the fucking button, okay? We did it together, my ass. Uh, we're we're go. Tomorrow, I don't know what to expect. We're so psyched. Hey, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, top ten. Yeah, the added in post uh, <laughs> words at the end. Why did they need to make this take three days? It's just to torture people longer. Good morning, everybody. Oh my God. For this next challenge, we will be dwindling you down to the final five pairs of twins. Each pair of twins will be facing another what? pair of twins. And no. Five pairs of twins. Why do you need to have Feastables branding on bowling? <laughs> Each pair of twins will be facing another pair of twins in a comically large game of bowling. Each with 105 pins. We got this challenge in the bag, baby. And even more interesting, the twin that is the bowler will be blindfolded. Well, oh, that changes things. And the other one will have to guide you where to bowl. I'm not worried about it. We're gonna beat whoever. Since you won the yes, first round of the yes. bucket game, <laughs> Snow Biles! We're gonna let you pick who you go up against. <laughs> have fun strategizing. That's a, that's a good strategy. To, let's go! Let's go! Random advantage given to, uh, what? I, I didn't see, what was that, uh, was that women? Oh, uh, it is women. Okay, all right. It, uh, no, it's a coincidence because they were the first to win. They, they, they were the first to win in the last one. That's why it's happened. It would have. Ha I'm sure. They, I'm sure they would have done the same thing if it was men, right? I'm not saying that this is anti-male sexism, but I am saying that it's cringe. We don't go bowling a lot, but I think I should bowl. Are you guys good bowlers? Not really. I suck. Rosenbergs. They're like a bit older. They got glasses. They're probably great bowlers. We Fucking goal! Yeah. You just gotta give it our all. And while they're strategizing, I wanna tell you about our brand new product, Lunch Leave. Oh my fucking god, there's no way he fit another ad into the same video. Oh my lord! The whole thing, it's all ads! The whole video's ads! <laughs> Always has been! It's the whole astronaut shit. Our brand new product, Lunch Leave. Zero controversy. Even Dan TDM likes it. Which pairs Feastables and Prime together in a better for you version of Lunchables. Lunch Look how it zoomed. Did you see that progress bar zoom? Did you see that? It really comes in three flavors Fiesta Nachos, Holy Turkey shit. Stackums, and the Pizza. And inside each box is a miniature Prime and a miniature Feastables. Let's go see what the twins think of them. It's, it's actually insane. It's actually so crazy that he, he, it's just like a giant social experiment where he takes these people and tortures them over the course of days, all right? Obviously, they consent. I'm not saying that he's doing this, he's violating shit. Obviously, this is all consensual. But the fact that he takes these people and he puts them in cubes, talking about how this is the best moment of their life, and then over the course of it, he, he shovels this shit down their throats, forcing them to say they like it as like this inhumane test group to advertise his dog shit. 
Like, it's actually crazy. It's a it's it's wild. How's it going? Ooh. We got pizza, turkey, nachos, whichever. Dude, we've seen Asmund Gold did a video eating it. It tastes like Lunchable. They taste the same, and neither are good. Which one you want? I'll get the pizza. The nachos look so good. And they're like so good. They don't look so good. I can see them. I have eyes. I have eyes, whammon. Okay, look at them. Does it look so good to you? Holy crap, a loony! Not gonna lie to me like that. That is real cheese. Holy <laughs> that is real cheese, guys. It's real cheese. He doesn't stop. He doesn't stop with the real cheese. It's the most fucking bullshit I've ever seen, guys. It's real cheese. They're fire. Yeah, I mean, they're no fire. I'm sure they're fire. They're probably fire. They came out of a fucking cardboard box. They're not fire. Okay. All right, McDonald's is better. Delicious. Better than Lunchables. Mm -hmm. There is no way she said that without being prompted. This is an adult woman. She has not eaten Lunchables in a decade, okay? So much better than Lunchables. Well, yeah, I guess if you're starved in a Mr. Beast Cube for a fucking three days. Oh my god, dude. This is despicable advertising. Better than Lunchables. From the person who, who I, I guarantee you, Badget has not eaten Lunchables in a decade to make this comparison. She was told to say that. You guys hungry? Oh yeah. Each meal comes with a tiny Feastables bar. Their last name's Hershey's. Wow. Sure, cause that's how people review food. Wow. After 30 seconds of eating it. They, they are using his name, his last name, which is Hershey, as an excuse to promote Feastables. This is insane. That might be some of the best chocolate I've ever had. And Get the fuck out of here. There's no way. Like, these people are, are, are brain dead. That's saying something because we're Hershey's. That's saying he's literally using their last name as an excuse to advertise and a fight against a competitor. He's like, see, these people are obviously biased towards Hershey's, which, by the way, is also mid chocolate. I'm not trying to make believe Hershey's is amazing. Okay. And, and even they think that it's the best chocolate they've ever eaten. Lunch is only around $5. I can't wait to see what you guys think. And up first, the Samsung Twin. It's, it's so crazy how, how he peddles his advertisements in these videos. Am I the bowler or are you the bowler? I don't care. I'll do it. You can step out. Promise. Yes, I promise you will not be eliminated. Follow me over here. Okay. How's it feel to be outside the cube? This is so, so weird. weird. So this is your Yeah, it's so weird to be outside the cube. No, the weird thing is being locked in a cube for three days. Bowling lane. And now you must pick one other cube to go up against. Oh, this is crazy. Who you face is up. Why would they say this is crazy? Like, I'm a react streamer and I don't say this is crazy when something that not crazy happens. Up to you. And I say this is crazy whenever anything happens, okay? Gus, just pick us. You will. I'm not picking no, you. Sorry. No. You gotta remember, it's blindfolded bullying. So it's not all about strength, it's also about strategy. Okay, we're gonna pick the Hershey twins. All right, let's go. Whichever pair of twins knocks down the most pins with three bulls will move on. The other right. pair will be eliminated. Okay, ready? Go this way. Three, two, one, yeah, go. 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 Good, 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 good. Oh my god. The bulls are ro. That is the slowest bowling I've ever seen in my life. Wow. Oh my gosh. Why would they throw the ball? Who, who did this? What kind of disability did they have to throw the balls that slowly? That was really bad. Okay, what do you want me to do? Not that much. To throw it with actual power behind it. Okay, what do you want me to do? Yeah, like, like you need good feedback. You need a freaking coach to tell you to roll it with more velocity than that. Holy shit. Force for both of them. Another one of us put enough on that first one. Blindfold up. Let's do round two. Yes, just like Three, that. Three, two. 26 to 25, of course. Uh-huh. Two, one, Straight, you got go. It. Oh. I don't even know. I'm stressing out right now. The Hershey's twins knocked down 48 pins, and the Sansa twins knocked down 37. They are 11 behind with oh one my ball God. remaining. Get mad. All right, so, so think, think about it. All right, so, so here we go. One of them is 11 behind the others, okay? There is no way they'll catch up, right? Yes. I'm just asking the question. $250,000 on the line. Let's see if they clutch up. Three, two, one, go. Wait, 
Great job. Oh my god. Great job. Whoa, whoa, I actually have no idea who won now. <laughs> whoa, whoa, I actually have no idea. Now, while we tally the score and calculate the easy uh, numbers to count, why don't I promote my new product? Why not? <laughs> the Hershey's messed up big time. That might have been the comeback of the century. Comeback of the century. The Hershey twins knocked down 55 pins. The Sansa twins knocked down 79 and are moving on. Oh my god. It's good I didn't predict it. If I would have predicted it a second ago, you guys would have you would have called me all kinds of sexist, okay? But you see, I didn't say anything. I, I let you decide. I, I overanalyze and get canceled for you to have a good time here today. I'm just saying. Guards, collect the pins. Guards, put hoods on. I don't want people to recognize you. You might be a pedophile. Oh my, oh my gosh! Oh my god! Oh my! What? Someone won and the other one lost. Oh my gosh! Want to go next? Pick us! Pick us! I gave your mom the comeback of a century last night. Oh! I'm oh, sorry. That one. That was sorry. <clears throat> yes, my vacation is doing really good for me. It's it's doing well. I'm I'm getting healthier. We're gonna pick the BD twins. All right, you two can head back to your cubes. Thank you. Who do you think you want to go against? Like those two kids up there. All right, we'll pick them. Narvez twins. I'm coming to get you. Uh oh. Uh oh. Godspeed. Godspeed. Twins, are you ready? All right. Yes. Yep. Three, two, one, go. Dude, imagine like he throws, he just totally misses it, and he hits, hits Mr. Beast in the balls. Like, I don't want that to happen, Tim, but um, think of the content, okay? All right, Mr. Beast standing there like on this fucking platform over here. Like, you imagine this dude just, yo, and it just goes. Sorry, I apologize for my uh, unprofessionalism. We'll continue with the, with the video. <laughs> Wow. I will take it. All right, blindfold up. All Go. right. Oh, oh, that might have been a comeback. Y'all chose us. That might have been a comeback. Y'all chose us. I mean, that's a lot of pins down, dude. $250,000 on the line. Get your twins in position. I love how they're not even showing the, the scores at this point. Three. Like, why show the scores? Because if we show the scores, it'll make it obvious. Two. One. Go! The last bulls. Oh my gosh. No! 89 pin. No! That's exactly how I sound when I lose $250,000. Alright, if I lose $250,000, you'll know because I say, no. It's knocked down to 74. I'm sorry, gentlemen. GG, boys. Who do you want to go next? These guys. Knowing that only five pairs of twins were moving on, they all chose their opponents oh carefully. Oh my god. with the Barretts. Oh my gosh. The blindfolds are on. Go! I love how they're, they're just making these rounds go quickly. That's how you know the guy is going to win. When the round goes super slowly and is intense, that's how the girls end up winning. It's every time with a Mr. Beast video. Like, it's a pattern at this point. Oh. I watched the guys win because they didn't make a big deal out of it. Oh. All right, the guys won. You could say pre-watched. But there's no way I'd sit through this twice. Think I could sit through four feastable ads? <laughs> Daddy! Every time, every time. Hey, who's next? Leave it. Every time, every time. Ha Mr. Beast. It's like, them versus them. The boys win. Or super slow, drawn out shit, girls win. With, with the, it was crazy how they pulled that around. Every time, every time. Leave us. All right. The Clippers. You can exit your queue. Three, two, one, go. It was becoming clear who was the biggest- Again, they make no deal out of it, the guys win. They make it like a huge big deal, the girls win. Why? What? G gender equality, guys. Threat in this challenge. I used to be in a league. I'm friends with a lot of people who are in a league. Ball <laughs> the fuck does that help you? I'm friends with professional bowlers. So, you know, I'm pretty good at this. <laughs> What the fuck? I'm, a I'm Team Rosenberg. Let's go Rosenberg. Is a strength. Do you guys think you're a fierce competitor? I'm not too worried. And the final two sets of twins. Come, Come on. on down. Come on, Rosenbergs. Kick butt. Use your old people powers. Let's see which one. Well, were they hold, like locked arms when they were walking? The final down? two sets of twins. Come on down. Are they locked arms right now? What? They are. They're literally locked. Oh, Rosenbergs! Let's freaking go! Let's see which one will move on. All right, gentlemen. Put your blindfolds on. Put your balls in my mouth. $50,000 on the line. I'm so glad we didn't have to go against either of them. Three, two, one, go. Now it's all added in post. Look at that. I'm so glad we didn't have to go against either of them. Look at Mr. Beast talking. Three, two, one. Right. one. Right, it doesn't matter, but it's just Go. Funny.
Oh my oh. god. Dude, those are both very good. Okay, ball. Okay, okay. Those yeah, friend with bowlers. Let's go. Those are our best ones yet. You can definitely tell they both have experience. It is neck and neck. This had to be the matchup. Oh, Let's yeah. see if that changes. Three, two, one. All right. Go. Oh, the ricochet. Whoa, I don't know. Did they barely have any pins left? The last bowl. Oh, the, the last challenge. bowl, guys. One of these twins are about to go home. Come on, Rosenbergs. Just, just fuck it up and accidentally throw the ball and hit him in the nuts. Come on, Rosenbergs. I have faith. One's going to the top five. It's just his finger gets stuck and the ball does like a little alley-oop and, and hits Mr. Breast. Dude, think of the comedy. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They might have made a comeback. That's a good ball. Dude, I love how they do that every single time. It might have changed everything. Oh, that, that's the best ball you could have had there. I think that's good enough. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is going to be a close game. And the final tally is 82 pins knocked down to 86. Yes. Yes. No, Rosenbergs, you should have done my plan. Oh my goodness. Bro. Congrats on making to the final five. We have the betting twins. Hey, do what you gotta do, right? Top five, baby. The Clifford twins. Let's go. The Dirting twins. We're just freaking out. That's it. We're freaking out, guys. We are literally freaking I'm sorry. And Sun twins. <laughs> and the Morris twins. The bowling champ right here. That will be going head to head in one final I love how this is twin power. It's like, guys, it's all because of their twin power that they've gotten this far. Oh, shit. Challenge for this quarter of a million dollars. Good luck to everybody. You ready? These videos are getting way too long. Can you make the next one like 10 minutes? I know I'm, I'm overanalyzing it and dissecting it, and that's what you're here for. The overanalyzation, dissecting, and slight putting of, of testicle meat in this man's face every once in a while when he deserves it, which is super rare. Mr. Beast is uh, well known for his philanthropy. Uh, and as you know, if you donate to charity, you are not warranted any criticism. Um, so uh, definitely subscribe for more overanalyzing videos, because I swear to God, this man's making every video long than the last just to annoy me for the final challenge yeah uh, yeah a little bit of nerves but i mean we're happy we made it this far we're oh we're, we're stoked all. so if you won what are you gonna spend the money on we're gonna go to japan japan and school we talk wait so if you won what are you gonna spend the money on we're gonna go to japan wasn't she sitting on the floor crying that she needs the five thousand dollars and she's going to japan when she wins dude they are each walking away with less than a hundred grand, okay? After this and taxes. Whoever wins is walking away with less than a hundred grand. Let's see if I can find her complaining about, uh... Yeah, whatever. I'm not, I'm not looking through that. But that was her. People are saying her. Yeah, she, she was the one sitting on the floor crying saying she needed the money. But she's going to Japan when she wins. Japan! Japan and school. We talked about investing. Let's buy my parents' new house. Really? But probably not. <laughs> Put it like on our band, and you're gonna make us rich, famous, famous rock, rock stars. stars. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. My parents, I mean, they have three kids in college, and they're trying to help us through, so it would mean the world if we could help them out. And then I'll probably buy a new fishing rod. Uh huh. Good luck in this day. I would buy a new fishing rod, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it, Jimmy. All right. At the start of this I love how he also does that. Like, he'll always ask the last few people what they want to spend their money on just so that they could, like, dream big that they actually win for a second and then they end up losing. It's like, imagine every time you buy a lottery ticket, the person that sells you the lottery ticket makes you write down your hopes and dreams on a paper right before he crumples it up in front of you. Like, can you imagine that shit? Challenge, we had 100 cubes. And now we are down to five. Congr before, we had more people. And now, you've sat through 25 minutes and we have less people. Congrats on making it this far. But up to this point, we've still not determined who the best set of twins is. So, half of this is luck. What the fuck best set of twins bullshit are you peddling? So for the grand finale, you may exit your cubes and come down here. The final challenge will be right here in the middle. This is terrifying. I'm excited for any of you guys to win this. So. Bring out the- I'm excited for any of you guys to win this, really? The podiums. Dude, they're wearing fucking masks. They're not just wearing hoods. They're wearing freaking masks. Oh my fucking god. It's the same bullshit. Like, this is the wildest thing in the world, okay? Also, while in Vegas, I went to Penn and Teller's magic show, okay? Penn and Teller, 
did do this magic show they they do a bunch of tricks and they spent a good chunk of time thanking everyone for for cleaning the stage and the security outside and the people that helped them set things up and the people that helped them build the props they spend so much time thanking them mr beast can't even let his guards show their faces in videos this guy is standing here in the corner wearing a black hood What? This is so scary. It's terrible. Yeah, it's scary. <laughs> this, this is like actual Team Rocket grunts, where they're all, they all look exactly the same. If you've seen our 50 YouTubers video... Oh my god, he's doing the same gimmick again with the fucking briefcases. This probably looks a little familiar. At the beginning of each round, everyone will start off blindfolded. Meanwhile, I will be shuffling these five briefcases. Now the left side of you may take off your blindfold. Which briefcase do you want? I just pick it up. Yeah, just pick it up. Put it on your podium. Four of these briefcases are empty, but one of them holds... Has the money. The or check a check. For the grand prize of a quarter of a million dollars. All five of them have now looked inside their briefcase and only they know what's in there. The players without briefcases will cast a vote to eliminate one set of twins from the game. The contestants with the most votes must reveal what's inside their briefcase. And if their case is empty, they're eliminated. But if their case has a check for 250 grand inside, they walk away with it. Never believe this, but that pair of twins wins the grand prize. Did he say you'll never believe this? He was literally uh, fucking fondling our balls for the last 28 minutes. You'll never believe this? I have 200 $50,000. Dude, this whole worshipping money shit is getting so annoying. If twin telepathy was a thing, now would be the time to use it. Throw up a 10 minute timer. Everyone decide who you're voting for. Hey, Morris, at the end, do you have it? I might. He's shaking a little. I don't think he has it. Do you think you have a good understanding of what your brother's thinking? Uh, I think so. Does anyone want to admit they have the 250 grand? Oh, so you're saying oh. you have it? I have it. That's bold. That's some BD stuff right there. I don't know why he would just say he has the money, though. Yeah, that's so sus. Who are you voting for? Yeah, that's so sus. <laughs> sure. Sure. Yes. Yes, that is so sus. That was added in post, by the way. That's why I'm making fun of it. Stuff right there. I don't know why he would just say he has the money, though. Yeah, that's so sus. Who are right, that, that sounded very much in post. Who are you voting for? Are you voting for your brother? I don't know. Toss me the hook. Toss me the hook. How well can you read your counterpart? You guys grew up together. Oh, vote for me. Dude, stop. You're, let's just stop lying because you're freaking me out. 45 seconds. I think we should vote them out because I don't think they have it. I don't think he has it either. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> what are they doing? We're going to have to start writing soon. I'm just writing who I'm confident for. Five, four, three, two, one. Carl, gather their votes. Feel good about this? I love how Carl's not uh, not one of his fucking slaves in the, the black hoodies. Don't know. <laughs> the first vote. Oh my god, I can't believe Jaden and I and these contestants are doing this challenge again. Was for Clifford. Wow. The second vote was Morris. The third vote was Sansone. Whoa, we have one vote. What the fuck? For three separate pairs of twins. The fourth vote was for Beatty. The fifth and final vote is Beatty, which means they received two and will be opening their briefcase. Oh my god. No way. Uh, yeah. no. It's empty! Wait, did what was that strat of him saying he had it? That that might be the worst strategy of all time. Did you vote for him? I voted for him. You voted for your own brother! The Beatty twin with the- I love how he's rubbing it in. You voted for your own brother! It's because of you! <laughs> Oh my god, there's no Briefcase almost executed the perfect bluff. That What's the perfect bluff? That is, until his own brother couldn't even read his poker face. How is that a perfect bluff? That was that, that was that was the dumbest plan to ever be conceived. Like, Game of Thrones season 8 couldn't have written a worse plan. I I can't believe this. The perfect bluff. It's all the brother's fault. When it's literally not the brother, it's the Oh my god. I just kept him shot. He said that it was him so people wouldn't vote for him. Epic plan. Don't worry though, boys. You're not leaving empty handed. Appreciate you, man. Hey, good luck. Bye, guys. And with that, I need all of you to put on the blindfolds and we're going to reshuffle the briefcases. Now, the opposite side will be picking briefcases this go around. Joe, watch people's body language as they open it. Yeah. Would you like briefcase number one, two, three, or four? That was some of the greatest tips I've ever heard in my life. Consider watching people's body language. Holy shit, you're so smart.
Uh, three. All right, third briefcase. Oh, give me two. I'll put it on your podium. How about you, one or two? Uh, one. Here you go. Morris, that leaves you with the final briefcase. Now, only the people with the briefcase may remove their blindfolds. Look at what's inside your briefcase. All right, okay. Only they know what's in there. I'm in the same dude again. All right, let's go. Oh. I need all of you to close it now. <laughs> dude just looks around super guilty. You may take off your blindfolds. Start the 10 minute timer. Let's see how this goes. Do you have it? I might have it. Do you have it? I don't have the money now. What about y'all down there? Don't have it. So nobody here has it. That wow! It's just factually not true. Somebody had it. I don't think the sandstones have it. This is the worst fucking a game of Among Us I've ever seen. I agree with you. I feel like you're all being sus, so I can't really. Oh, it's awesome. Duh. I, I think the Morrises have it, and I already placed my vote on who I want to get rid of. I think Clippers have the money. If you're making your decision now, that means y'all have the money. That's what you think, bro. Like I'm voting for Morris. I think Morris has the money. I'm telling you, they've got the money, bro. I'm sorry. I love you all. They're all saying they think Morris has the money, and they're all voting for Morris? That is how you give him the money. Oh my fucking god, this is this is so brain rot. This is like so brain rot. Three, two, one. Time is up. Oh, oh my god. Oh my gosh. The first. Oh my gosh. A ten minute timer hit zero minutes. This vote is for Morris. This is fucking brain dead shit. The second vote is also for Morris. I'm so nervous. Did you listen to me? Did you listen to me? The third vote. It's for Dirting. If Dirting gets another vote, it's a tie. <laughs> it's two to one. And if the guy with one gets a vote, it becomes a tie. Riveting commentary. If not, the Morris twins will be opening their briefcase. Okay, if he really has to stop doing this, this challenge at the end of his videos because this challenge fucking sucks. Final vote is Dirting. We have a tie. Oh. You guys have three minutes to decide. The four of you recast votes, either for Dirting or Morris, to break the tie. Wait, so who should I vote for? He looks so stressed Is out. he fake stressing? Dude, Morris is have the money. Vote Dirty if you want to continue, is what I'm saying. Don't put my name down. You see, like, they're trying to, like, save yourself now. That's what I'm saying. Just listen to the boy, like. Chris, what do you think? <laughs> Seconds. If you want to make it oh my three, god, the, the, this fake stress is killing me. Today we have a hundred twins, and coincidentally, the Mr. Beast employee twins are making it to the top. Stick around to find out more. Trust Five, me, trust me, trust me, trust me. Four. Oh, maybe Wait a second. It showed three people writing the word Morris. Hold on, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry we're going back a little bit here. Look, look at this. And I already placed my vote on her. All right. Who I so want put dirting. to get rid of. I think Clippers have the money. If you're making your decision now, that means y'all have the money. That's what you think, bro. Like I'm voting for Morris. I think Morris has the money. I'm telling you, they've got the money. So they got one guy <laughs> writing Morris. Sorry. I love you got a second guy writing Morris. Three, two. No, only two of them wrote Morris. Nah, never mind. Wanna, like, save yourself now. Three, Trust me, bro. Two, Trust me. One. Hands down. I hate to do it, bro. Let's tally these votes. Morris or dirting, one of you is opening your briefcase. Our first vote. Is for dirty. Our second vote is also for dirty. The third vote is for dirty. The fourth vote, which is now irrelevant, is also dirty. Four? All four of them voted for the dirty twins. Bro. Yeah. Reveal what is in your briefcase. Fourth place, baby! He's making believe he's happy, and his brother's just fucking out. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. This is awesome. Put, this guy's the one with the briefcase that knows they lost. And this is the brother that thinks they might have walked away with 250. Yo, what is in your briefcase? <laughs> and he's like, yo, we did it. And he's like, oh, kill me. <laughs> he's like, fourth place. Woo! And he's like, ah, kill me. <laughs> are going home with $10,000. Can they stop doing that, bro? You know this is what happens every time. That's awesome. There you go. And now that all of you at home know how this game works. Dude, I, I love this shit. Look at this. Ah, all right, Team Rocket grunts. Awesome. There you go. And the Team Rocket grunts come in to, to remove this shit. Now that all of you at home. It's crazy. This is so wild. Know how this game works. For this next round, we're not even going to reveal who has the money. Do you want one, two, or three? I'll do... 
How does that make sense to not reveal who has the money? Then it just becomes statistics. Then it becomes rolling a dice. Two. I'll do one. Carl will get Morris the last one. The three of you with briefcases. Take your blindfolds off. Look inside your briefcase. All right. What does that mean? Oh, they won't reveal to us the audience. Oh my God. Close them. You guys may take off. You know what that means. That means someone's actually walking away with all the money this time. Off your blindfolds. Start the timer. Oh, I think I have an idea of who has it. And who's that? Wait, you think they have it? Again. What if you had it though? She looks nervous. So that's all. That's I mean, my thought. <laughs> Look at this. They have it? Again. What if you had it though? She looks nervous. He says, I know who has it. It's that guy. And she says, what if you have it? And he's like, uh, she looks nervous. It's her. <laughs> Sure, dude. Sure, dude. Uh, that's all. That's I mean, my I've thought. been nervous. I'm telling you, they got that. So then what? You want to be voted out? <laughs> you saying they have the money means their only options to vote for you. Yeah, but how is he so certain? You have the money? Do you want to come look? Tony. Do you want to come look? <laughs> dude, it's so funny how, like, put into context, knowing Mr. Beast is like a gambling addict when he does all this shit. 250 thousand dollars on the line you got 47 seconds one of you is gonna be walking away with the money listen i'm not saying that 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 it's gonna be uh it's gonna, <clears throat> you know i'm not gonna say it i'm not gonna say anything all right i don't want to be accused of pre-watching here zero pre-watch assumptions okay who do you think i feel like clifford has the money clifford you guys have been right in the past two you make up your mind and i'll vote for whoever i've got the suitcase bro i can't help everyone vote every round like <laughs> I got the secrets. I can't help. Meanwhile, he's telling them to vote for him the whole time. <laughs> 15 seconds. I'd start writing. Give me something. I know I'm done. Okay. She knows what she's doing. Do you have it in your suitcase? Yeah or no? I might have it in my suitcase. He's lying. So how am I lying? I don't know. I don't might know. These aren't suitcases. No. My suitcase. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands down. The first vote. Ugh. Is for Morris. The second vote. Whoa. Is also Morris. Whoa. We don't even need to see what the third one is. Bring the tip because everyone thought it was Clifford. Falling over. Good luck, guys. All right, Morris says it all comes down to this moment. So you do not know what's inside of here. All right. You want to show them? If it's empty, they lose. And the game continues until there's a winner. Money! But it has $250,000. <laughs> look at this dude, look at this dude in his face. It's theirs. Ah. Oh, yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> so the next fucking video is just gonna be these 100 testants will sit behind slot machines. <laughs> Bro, bro, bro. <laughs> more realistic, more re realistic sibling fucking than on Pornhub. <laughs> Holy shit, look at them go. <laughs> it's all right, I'm gonna cry. It's okay. It's okay. What do you guys get? I'm gonna cry. It's okay. I'm gonna spend the money on. It's going to our family. I mean, they work so hard for us. I couldn't be happier. Pull it apart. That is your. Was that ad in post? To our family. I mean, they work. Look, look, watch his lips. So hard for us. I couldn't be happier. Pull no, no, that, that was real. Pull it apart. That is your $125,000. And that is his hundred and twenty-five grand. Dude. Congrats. Oh, dude, I can't move. <laughs> oh my god, what a wholesome moment. Wow, what a beautiful... Two subscribe buttons. That's how, you, that's how you know it's real. Yeah, uh, anyway. This, I, I'd say this is, uh... It was a boring Mr. Beast video. I wouldn't say that the other ones, uh, that this is the worst. I don't think it was the most egregious. I do think it's in heavily scripted, especially um, who wins specific rounds and uh, shit added in post and all that stuff. Uh, I do, however, believe that the advertising practices are wildly scummy. I really hate the peddling lottery shit to children every... And he's doing it again. Despite the criticisms he gets, he does it again. It's like, I don't... He, this is like not just not responding to criticism. This is actively leaning into the stuff he's being criticized for because he knows it's an easy way to squeeze shit out for kids. Um, I think the advertising practices of telling contestants and competitors how they're supposed to glaze him while eating their products. I think that's a little insane. Um, but all in all, this this video's just drawn out. It's so long. It did not need to be this long. 
Uh, I, I find it wild that Mr. Beast used to go from like heavily concise, edited down videos to these drawn out marathon videos that just feel painfully and sluggish to look through. But anyway, that's been me over analyzing breasticle testicle. Bye bye. If you made it to the end, click one of these two videos, which also will definitely get me canceled. See you live on game. Stay weird, fam.